Hey, welcome back to Zan Going Rogue. Um, first of all, if you can kind of hear some noise in the background, I think the game audio will cover it up, but um, the the dryer is going from washing laundry. That's not important. Anyway, so I wanted to do another run of this uh, because I died pretty far into the other run. And uh, I'm going to put on a couple of artifacts for this run because I just I want to get to the ending of the game. Just kind of show off the ending. And it's a little easier if you have artifacts. So this first one, deal 500% damage but have 10% health. Beginning of the game, this basically means you get one shot. So you have to be really careful. But the increased damage makes up for it because you one shot everything else. So it kind of balances out. Um, and then I have this one, chests no longer spawn, monsters now drop items on death. This is kind of like a good-bad thing. On one hand, gold doesn't matter now, but on the other hand, um, like, the items I get is basically how much I'm willing to farm enemies. Um, if I wanted to make this really easy, I would turn on Command, which makes it to where you choose what the items are. They're no longer random. Like, it drops a rarity box, and you can choose any item of that rarity. But I'll only turn that on in, like, an extreme situation of I'm just having bad gameplay. So, um, I'm, like, a minute in. Let's go ahead and just get the run started. I'm going to play the Engineer this time, because the Engineer has a lot of damaging abilities and no actual dodging abilities. Which would be bad with me getting one shot, but they have so much damage, it doesn't even matter. Like, the Engineer is like the ultimate, like, I don't give a fuck class. For example, homing rockets, because homing rockets. But yeah, um, last time I did a run of this, um, oh look, I already found the teleporter. Uh, do I want to activate this? Yeah, I might as well. Ow. Okay. Magma Worm is my, like, worst nightmare for these runs. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Set up a turret. Set up another turret. Okay. Set up some more mines. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, that's actually really sweet. So, um, the Ancient Scepter makes whatever your fourth ability is, uh, which is usually kind of like your super ability, quote-unquote, um, into, like, a more powerful version of it. So I have super turrets now, basically. I'm trying to remember what that changes. Um, I think it... Okay, you can have three of them instead of two... And I think it makes him do more damage as well. But yeah, so now I got red super turrets. Woo. Yeah, I have a faster rate of fire as well, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Um, my only goal of this isn't really to show off me being particularly good at the game, because... Like, having the uh, artifacts is sort of cheating mode. But, um, I just want to get to the ending, show off, like, the final boss. I really enjoy the final boss. So, yeah. That's basically what the goal of this run is. Alright, cool. Yeah, uh, first level done, only took a couple minutes, so not too bad. Good start, right? Um, if I get lucky, I'll get Boar Beach again. Like, having the uh, enemies drop items on death thing kind of makes Boar Beach, like, twice as worth it as normal. But, um... I still don't think the little boars drop anything, if I remember right. Because, yeah, I was I was in that area a while on, uh... Basically, after I did the recording for this, I did some, like, just kind of for-fun runs by myself. Because I fucking love this game, and I forgot how much I loved this game. 
So, you know, I had a bunch of artifacts on. I was just trying to have as ridiculous of a run as possible. Hey, look. Once again, I found the teleporter, like, right the fuck away. This is awesome, actually. Um, and, of course, it's the wisp. Where the fuck did it spawn, though? I can't find where it spawned. Fuck you. Oh, my God. Yeah, so if you notice, one of the, like, regular dudes bit me and it took half my health. Yeah. That's why this type of run gets real dangerous real fast. Uh, is he down here? Seriously, where's the boss? What the fuck? Fuck game. It's gotta be above me somewhere. I'm guessing. I'm just gonna get stuck looking for the boss. The only hard part about... Ooh, that's actually pretty good for this kind of run. Because you don't really need money anyway. So just being able to, like, drop money as, like, a weapon is useful. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I don't remember. I don't know. But yeah, I figured I'd record some more just because we still haven't been able to get together to, like, finish up Dead Space or Mega Man X6 or any of that. So I'm just, you know, I figured I'd get a little more of this recorded. I do want to play some other stuff, but... I figure for now, this will be a good, uh, good start. Seriously, where the fuck's the boss? Oh, I think I know where he is. Yeah, it's gonna be down in this fucking area. Hey there, asshole. Okay. Cool. Took care of that. Make sure there's no other enemies over in this upper area. I don't think so. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. And then, of course, the cat starts getting into stuff. But, yeah. Just having... Having one of those days where, like... I had stuff planned for today, but, like... As usual, uh, nothing really panned out like it was supposed to, which I've kind of come to expect at this point, just because that's been my luck lately. So, I don't know. I figured, fuck it, let's get some more Risk of Rain recorded, and then, I don't know, after I get, like, a run where I actually beat the game, like, I'm hoping this will be a quick run, and then I'll beat the game, maybe I'll show off, like, another character or something, if like, it's just, like, a super quick run. But, um... Hey, look at that. I got the Ancient Valley. I can go check for Boar Beach. But, yeah, um... I want to get to some other roguelikes. Like, I, I'm gonna, tr for now, at least, stick to roguelikes for these videos. Because I like the, uh, the pun of Zan Goes Rogue playing roguelike games. But, um, I'm trying to think of, like, anything specific. Like, I have a ton of roguelikes. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing Rogue Legacy for a little bit. I kind of suck at that game. Like, I don't think I'd even beat a single boss, knowing me. But, I mean, it'd be nice to see if I manage to do at least that much. Like, that would be my goal for the playthrough. Like, can I beat one boss? But, uh, I could also play, like, uh... Darkest Dungeons, um, oh god, that could be fun, what else would be a good roguelike to play, uh, Binding of Isaac, I could always do, uh, we did that for, uh, last year's Halloween, which was fun, uh, if I remember right, it was actually a pretty good run, and then something happened, I'd have to go back and rewatch the video, it's been so long. But I, I remember Nathan was actually having... I think Nathan was playing. He was having a really good run. But yeah, I could play that. Um, Isaac's always good. Ah, uh, no Boar Beach. Okay. And I'm guessing no teleporter either. Maybe I'll get lucky and the bridge will be here. Oh, no, the teleporter. Oh, thank God. Okay. Let me guess. Uh, Ifrit. Is it going to be Ifrit? 
Hey, it's Ifrit! Sup, homie? Ow, that hurt. Very rude, Holmes. Home slice. Fuck you, I have turrets. Oh, yay, drones equipped with explosive weaponry. That is probably the most worthless item you can get in a no... in, like, the enemy spawn items runs, because... Uh, in addition to there being no chests, uh, there's no, like, uh, hidden enemy, oh, that's actually a decent one, too. Um, since there's no, fuck, okay, train of thought, come back to me. So, since there's no, um chests, there's also no... Boom. There's also no, like, no shrines, so, like, the, the dice that increase your crit chance every time you miss a shrine, uh, those are worthless. There's no... No drones, no, like little, like, health and money boxes that'll sometimes spawn. Like, there's nothing. It's just you and enemies. So, so yeah, uh, stuff like that, that specifically help out drones or, like, item stuff. Like, I got the fireworks thing earlier, which has a chance of sending out fireworks every time you open up a chest. Like, that shit is worthless to me. I have no use for it, and kind of sucks getting them in this kind of run, but that's the luck of the draw, right? Uh, I'm going to start by checking the bottom. So I actually... Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Where is it? It's probably above me. I need to find that. Like, now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to ignore everything else until I find... the fucking... Toxic Beast, because if I don't kill that now, it's going to spawn so many fucking enemies. It's going to become a problem later. Ugh. Thank you. Um, Jesus. There it is. Okay. So... Doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, so I've gotten two completely worthless items for this run, but I think it makes up for it since, like, my first item was the, uh, the Ancient Scepter that, like, boosts my fourth ability. God, where is this thing? Toxic Beast, where are you? Okay, I need to kill some of this stuff. Thank you, Jesus. Paul's go oof. It's a very important item. Because the goat hoof, huh? You're way a fuck up here, aren't you, asshole? Jesus, okay. Uh, deal bonus damage, chance to fear enemies when attack. Okay, those aren't too bad. Um, so, the crowbar is decent. Basically, anything that's at, like, above 80%, I think, uh, takes bonus damage. So, it kind of helps kill stuff more in, like, a one-shot sort of way. Um... And then the box, when stuff hits me, there's a chance it'll get feared, so it'll move away from me. And that, of course, has plenty of uses as well. Fuck you. Alright, one enemy left. It's gonna be that fucking slime, isn't it? Alright, so this isn't a bad run. I'm actually almost at the boss. Um, oh, shit. I'm, I'm not really paying attention to time, either. This run is going so smooth. Okay, um... Here, I'll finish up this stage real quick. Kill this motherfucker. Splits into multiple guys. Okay. 
So next episode, I'll go into the next stage. Sorry, this one ran a little long. It's just, this has been such a smooth and like rapid run. I didn't even notice. Um, so yeah, see you next episode. Probably going to have um, the final boss in the next episode at this rate. All right. See you then.